ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾತ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿವ್ರಾಜ ಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಗ್ರಂಥರಾಜ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ನೈನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಎನ್ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪುರೂರವ ಎನ್ಚಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಊರ್ವಸಿ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತ ವರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಪಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟಿಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ತಯಾ ಸ ಪುರುಷ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠೋ ರಮಯಂತ್ಯಾಯತಾರ್ಹತ ರೇ ಮೇ ಸುರ ವಿಹಾರೇಶು ಕಾಮ ಚೈತ್ರ ಚೈತ್ರರತಾಶು ಶುಕದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪುರುರುವ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಫ್ರೀಲಿ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಆಫ್ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಹೂ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸೆಲೆಸ್ಟಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಚಿತ್ರರಥ ಅನ್ನಂದನ ಕಾನನ ವೆರ್ ದ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ರಮಮಾನಸ್ತಯ ದೇವ್ಯ ಪದ್ಮಕಿಂಜಲ್ಕ ಗಂಧಯ ತನ್ಮುಖೋ ತನ್ಮುಖಾಮೋದ ಮುಷ್ ಮುಷಿತೋ ಮುಮುದೇಹರ್ ಗಣಾಂ ಬಹೂನ್ ಊರ್ವಶೀಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಾಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಫ್ರಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಎನ್ಲೆವೆನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಫ್ರಾಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಪುರುರವ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಜುಬುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಪಶ್ಯನ್ ಊರ್ವಶೀಮಿಂದ್ರೋ ಗಂಧರ್ವಾನ್ ಸಮಚೋದಯತ್ ಊರ್ವಶೀರಹಿತ ಮಹ್ಯಂ ಆಸ ಆಸ್ಥಾನ್ ನಾತಿಶೋಭತೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆವೆನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಸೆಡ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಮೈ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಗಂಧರ್ವಾಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಹರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಹೆವೆನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ತೇ ಉಪೇತ್ಯ ಮಹಾರಾತ್ರೆ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಸಾರಿ ತಮಸಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯುಪಸ್ಥಿ ಊರ್ವಶ ಉರನೌ ಜಹ್ ಜಹ್ರೂರ್ ನ್ಯಸ್ತೌ ರಾಜನಿ ಜಾಯ ದಸ್ ದ ಗಂಧರ್ವಾಸ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ದ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಮಿಡ್ ನೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ದೇ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪುರುರವ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋಲ್ ದ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಪರ್ಪಡ್ ದ ರೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮಿಡ್ ನೈಟ್ ದ ಮಹಾನಿಶಾ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮಹಾನಿಶಾ ದ್ವೆ ಘಟಿಕೆ ರಾತ್ರೆ ಮಧ್ಯಮಯಮಯೋ ಹೋ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಮಿಡ್ ನೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದ ಡೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ನಿಶಮ್ಯ ನಿಶಮ್ಯ ಕ್ರಂದಿ ದೇವಿ ಪುತ್ರಯೋರ್ ನೀಯ ಮಾನಯೋ ಹೋ ಹತಾಸ್ಮ್ಯಹಂ ಕುನ ತೇನ ನಪುಂ ಸಾಂ ವೀರ ಮಾನಿ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಟ್ರೀಟೆಡ್ ದ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಬೀನ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗಂಧರ್ವಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಮ್ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಪ್ಯು ರಿಬ್ಯೂ ಹರ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ನೌ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಶೀ ಸೆಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ವರ್ತಿ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುನಕ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಹಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಹೀರೋ ಯದ್ ವಿಶ್ರಂಭಾದಹಂ ನಷ್ಟ ಹೃತಾಪತ್ಯ ಚ ದಾಸ್ಯು ದಸ್ಯು ಯಶೇತೆ ನಿಶಿ ಸಂತ್ರಸ್ತೋ ಯಾರೀ ದಿವಾ ಪುಮಾನ್ ಬ
although he appears to be a man during the day. Iti vag sakhyair bidaha, sayakair bidaha, pratotrair iva kunjaraha, nishi nishtir nishtrimsham adhaya, vivastro vivastro bhyadrabad rusham. Pururava, stricken by the sh sharp words of Urvashi, like an elephant struck by its driver's pointed rod, became very angry. Not even dressing himself properly, he took a sword, sword in his hand, in hand, went out naked into the night to follow the Gandharvas who had stolen the lambs. Te Vishru Jayaran Vishru Jyoranautatra Vyad Vyadyonta Sma Vidyutaha Vyadyodan Vedyodantasma Vidyutaha Adaya Meshava Meshavyantam Nagnam Aikshata Sapatim. After giving up the two lamps, the Gandharvas shone brightly like lightning, thus eliminating the house of Pururava. Urvashi then saw her husband returning with the lamps in hand. But he was naked and therefore she left. Ailopi shayane jayam apashyan vimana iva tachitto vihvala shochan bad bad babad babra man mattavan mahim. No longer seeing, seeing Urvashi on his bed, Pururava most, was most aggrieved. Because of his great attraction for her, he was very much disturbed. Thus lamenting, he began traveling about the earth like a madman. Satam viksha kurukshetre sarasvatyam chatat sakihi pancha prashruta vadana praha suktam pururavaha. Once during his travel all over the world, Pururava saw Urvashi accompanied by five companions on the bank of Saras Saraswati at Kurukshetra. With jubilation in his face, then he then spoke to her in sweet words as follows. Aho jaye tishta tishta ghore na tyaktu marhasi maam tvam adhyapyani vritya vacham se krnava vahai. O my dear wife, O most cruel one, Kindly stay, kindly stay. I know that I have never made you happy until now. But you should not give me up for that reason. This is not proper for you. Even if you have decided to give, give up my company, let, na, let us nonetheless talk for some time. Sudeho yam patatyatra devi duram hritas tvaya kadantyenam vrika Gridas, Gridras, Tvat Prasadasya Naspadam. O Goddess, now that you have refused me, my beautiful body will fall down here. And because it is unsuitable for your pleasure, it will be eaten by foxes and vultures. Text number 36. So please repeat. Urvashi Uvacha, Maam, Mritaha. Purushaha Asi Twam Ma Smam Twa Adyuho Vrakaha Ime Kwa Api Sakyam Nam Vai Strinam Vrakanam Hridayam Yatam Urvashi Uvacha Mamrata Purusho Purusho Sitvam Mamrata Purusho Sitvam Masmatvadyur Vrka Ime Masvatvadyur Vrka Ime Kwapi Sakyam Navai Strinam 
क्वापि सख्यम न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता वृकाण हृदय यता ऊर्वशुवाच मृता पुषोसी मस्मुर्वृका इमे क्वापि सख्यम न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता ऊर्वशुवाच मृता पुषोसी मस्मुर्वृका इमे क्वापि सख्यम न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता ऊर्वशुवाच पुषोसी क्वापि सख्यम न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता ऊर्वशुवाच मृता पुषोसी मस्मुर्वृका इमे न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता माताजी ऊर्वशुवाच मुषोसी मस्मुर्वृका इमे क्वापि सख्यम न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता माताजी ऊर्वशुवाच मृता पुषोसी मस्मुर्वृका इमे क्वापि सख्यम न वै स्त्रीना वृकाण हृदय यता उर्वशी उवाच उर्वशी सेड मा डू नॉट मृता गिव अप योर लाइफ पुरुष मेल असी आर तम यू मास्म डू नॉट अलोव इट ता अंटु यू अद्यु मे ईट वृका द फॉक्सस् इमे दी सेंसस् डू नॉट बी अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ युअर सेंसस् क्व अभी एनीवेर सख्यम फ्रेंडशिप न नॉट वै इंडीड स्त्रीना ऑफ उमेन वृकाण ऑफ द फॉक्सस् हृदय द हार्ट यता एस ट्रांसलेशन एंड पर्पट बाई हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री प्रोपा द फाउंडर आचार ऑफ इज कॉन ट्रांसलेशन उर्वशी सेट माई डियर किंग यू आर अ मैन यर हीरो डोंट बी इम्पेशन एंड गिव अप योर लाइफ बी सोबर एंड डोंट अलाउ द सेंसेस टू ओवरकम यू लाइक फॉक्सेस डोंट लेट द फॉक्सेस ईट यू इन अदर वर्ड्स यू शुड नॉट बी कंट्रोल बाई योर सेंसेस रेदर यू शुड नो दैट द हार्ट ऑफ अ वुमन इज लाइक दैट ऑफ अ फॉक्स देर इज नो यूज मेकिंग फ्रेंडशिप विद वुमेन पर्पट चाणक्य पंडित सेस चाणक्य पंडित हेज अड्वस् विश्वासो नैव कर्तव्य स्त्रीषु राजकुलेशु चेवर प्लेज युअर फेथ इन अ वुमेन और अ पोलिटिशन अनल एलिवेटेड टू स्पिरीचुअल कॉन्शियस्ने एव्री वन इज कंडीशन एंड फॉलन वाट टू स्पीक ऑफ वुमेन हू आर् लेस् इंटेलीजेंट दैन मेन वुमेन हू हेव बीन कंपेर्ड टू शूद्रस् एंड वैश्यस् 
ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯೋ ವೈಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತಥಾ ಶೂದ್ರ ಶೂದ್ರ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಹೌ ಅವರ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಎಲಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವುಮನ್ ಹರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ನ್ಯೂ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅ ವುಮನ್ಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ಲೈ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅ ವಿಕ್ಟಿಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಸ್ಲೈ ಫಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿಕ್ಟಿಮೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಲೈ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ವೈಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಸ್ಲೈ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಮಸ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾತಾ ಗೃಹೇ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಭಾರ್ಯ ಚಾಪ್ರಿಯವಾದಿ ಅರಣ್ಯ ತೇನ ಗಂತವ್ಯ ಯಥಾರಣ್ಯ ತಥ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಗೃಹಸ್ಥಾಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೈ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ವೈಫ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಒಬೀಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ಹರ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದ ಹೋಮ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿತ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಪಾತಂ ಗೃಹಮಂದ ಕೂಪಂ ವನಂ ಗತೋ ಯದ್ ಧರಿಮಾಶ್ರಯೇತ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ವೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರಿ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಕಾಸ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತಿ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಊರ್ವಶಿವಾಚ ಮಾಮೃತ ಪುರುಷೋ ಸಿತ್ವಂ ಮಾಸ್ಮತ್ವಾದ್ಯೂರ್ವೃಕ ಇಮೆ ಕ್ವಾಪಿ ಸಖ್ಯಂ ನ ವೈ ಸ್ತ್ರೀನಾಂ ವೃಕಾಂ ಹೃದಯ ಯಥಾ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ಸೈಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಯ ಹೀರೋ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಪೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಬಿ ಸೋಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಲೋವ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಟು ಓವರ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಫಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಫಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ಈಟ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ rather you should know that the heart of woman is like that of a fox there is no use making friendship with woman hare krishna so here after hearing the past times of um, i mean we heard about the dynasty of um, uh, soma or chandra and we heard whatever happened between uh, chandra and soma and brihaspati after that uh, buddha the son he was born then pururava was born so after that uh, we hear the story and we know who he was attracted with uh, urvashi and then they they were living together and uh, here uh, just to give a connection the link that uh, when urvashi she approached uh, pururava and uh, for being uh, united so pururava also he agreed okay we'll stay together but uh, on condition that not purvasi pururava's condition it's a uh, urvasi's condition that he should s- never see him in naked and uh, apart from the time when they are being united so but uh, that's the link here when uh, pururava when he went to find out the lamps which gandharva took away so that time he forgot how he was in what situation he was so he didn't wear his dress properly he was not even covered fully so he was naked so he went with, uh, with his sword chasing gandharvas but at last he got the lamps he brought back but uh, the condition was she should not see her, him in uh, at any time him naked but now he is naked so she had to leave so she left so as the story unfolds he was really disturbed by that and he wanted to be with
come at least if you are not being with me at least speak for some time so now urvashi hearing the statements of pururava then uh, he, she spoke this verse now the whole scenario whole the whole section of the story it's uh, in a different mood now we hear uh, this is the first verse which urvashi is speaking and the upcoming verses are even more heavy <laughs> but uh, this this what propad explains in purport what what's the nature of woman and we'll discuss so here uh, shri propad at the beginning of purport uh, he is quoting a uh, chanakya pandit it's a famous statement many devotees they quote viswaso naiva kartavyam strishu rajakuleshu cha actually it's a half verse uh, chanakyaniti there are some more people have mentioned like um, like um, a river river should not be um, we should not keep faith in river any time we may be drowned and like that so this woman and politician should not be uh, believe so that's what uh, shri prabhupada is quoting from chanakya pandit when i when we when we hear this statement then first instance what we remember at least i remembered was uh, mohini avatar when he brought out the nectar so he had when danvantri brought out the nectar of uh, Am- amrita so it was given to i mean asuras immediately snatched the nectar from hand of uh, danvantri so then uh, lord had to take a form of mohini a very beautiful woman form so when he appeared the demons immediately they were captivated so they did they forgot what what was their situation what everything so then immediately what happened believing in the words of a mohini murti so they gave the nectar back to mohini murti so then uh, that time uh, shukadev goswami explains mohini wanted to teach that um, they should not believe in women that uh, see now they got the nectar by drinking they can become immortal but believing in women's words they lost the nectar i mean this is one point to understand of course there is a higher purpose also if demons drink the nectar you know it's more dangerous for us so even when lord appears when lord takes form of woman he teaches you no know, woman should not be believed so and uh, st- um, in commentary to this verse of uh, stri shu raja kule shu cha they explain that um, woman uh, guru and king they are compared to fire so when there is a fire we, sh- we should not go either too near or too far we should not be too far either if we are too near then we may be good we may get burnt and if we are too far we may, we may not get the profit out of it so it should be balanced same thing with a woman guru and kings king if you deal with him you should be very careful you should know what you are speaking not even spell out a word mistakenly so it should be very careful how to deal with him same thing with guru so you though you know we are personally serving him but at the same time it's like fire it may we may get burnt if we commit offenses so we should be careful and same instructions are ge- applied to women also so in, when we are with a uh, woman we should not associate very close or at the same time very far so it depends on the situations there are different dharmas for different people for brahmachari has different dharma towards women grahastha has different dharm- dharma vana prasthas they have different dharma and sanyasi they don't have any connection with women so depends on the person so this what and uh, when they are explaining about this shloka so there was a instance in mahabharat where uh, yudhishthira maharaj is asking to bhishma dev about the uh, nature of women so in bhishma dev before even starting explaining he said it's a big topic you know but you hear but we'll uh, try to discuss so that what bhishma dev explained but he just gives a um one very good instance when narada muni he wanted to know about the nature of women so he was crossing through the heavenly planets so then he saw an apsara then he stopped her then she asked he asked her okay i want to ask you one question so now she is like okay you are a great sage you know everything but still whatever i can answer you i'll try to answer 
So then uh, Narada Muni asked, okay, I just want to know what is the nature of woman. So then uh, she said, see, you asked me such a <laughs> difficult question. How do I cre no, uh, say about my own um, nature, I mean, woman's nature? So then uh, Narada Muni insists, okay, you, you explain. We want to know because for the welfare of the world. So then uh, she explained that uh, woman, she should be, she should never be independent. And uh, the one thing she says that woman has all, you know, if, if she has uh, wealth or uh, beauty, possessed of husbands, even though she has all these things, beauty, fame, whatever, she may get uh, carried away at any time. She may misuse her independence at any time because that's the nature, that's what she's explaining. And uh, further she's saying that Woman can be the cause of all evils in the world. So, this also to be discussed. If uh, when we hear from Shrimad, uh, Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna is explaining about uh, Varna Shankara, so in purport, Shri Prabhupada is saying that uh, when the chastity of woman is maintained in society, there will be good population, there will be peace in the society. But at the same time, when women, they are polluted, we see that uh, whole society, it's in uh, chaos because there are no good citizens. There are, there will not be a people of good character who can uh, be trained as a brahmanas and who can lead the society. So, women, they can be really good, really do good to the society. At the same time, if they misuse their independence, they can really create a um, disturbance in the society again. So that's what uh, for it's further so much is explained about the nature of woman because whole Varnashrama system we know from Bhagavatam and we see many instances it depends on the real and that, that's what as Shri Prabhupada explains in Bhagavad Gita it depends on the character of woman how she is uh, behaving how she is giving but how her mood is how she is you know for a child first uh, she whatever uh, child knows, first he knows from his mother. So mother being a teacher, sh she should teach whatever is good to the children. And further, when they grow up, they will be able to guide others. So that's why women, they play a very important role in the society. And uh, further it is explained that women, they should not be given independence. This is not to, you know, now people, when they hear, modern days people, when they hear about this purpose, they're saying, they will say what they will say, you know, you are, you know, you want to keep women as their slaves, you don't want to give independence, there are no equal rights, they are also very intelligent, they can also do, they are also capable, uh, when there is sports, do or die, and there, there are, you know, more than male picture, there are female picture, you know, they kind of jumping and in army, and so many, now women are, um, propagated, I mean, promoted in various ways, in, in every fields. So, when they, those people, when they hear, they cannot really understand, oh, we are really, you know, not giving the equal rights to women. That's what they will say. But uh, this is not uh, to condemn the woman's society. Yesterday we heard from Prabhupada, Yudhishthira Maharaj, when he was, um, after the battlefield, he was lamenting that, you know, I have killed so many kings, like my brothers, my grandsons, or sons, or father. When I killed everyone, but who will, if they all die, who will protect women? So then Prabhupada says that many people, they say, we want to keep women as slaves. But here we see king, he is, how much he is concerned with the woman society, how much he is concerned to protect them. So Varnashrama system is meant to protect women, women, children, old people, cows, so, Brahmanas, so any Kshatriya, he has this duty that he should protect women, Brahmanas, all these five. So, it's not question of uh, putting them down or putting women's society, you know, you know they should be under um, control. Yeah, they should be. But only reason is that just to protect them. Because Shastra says that women, if they have given independence, they can be easily cheated. Ramayan says that, there is a quotation, they are saying that, Balaya va yuvatya va, either woman is uh, in, in her childhood or in her young age, or 
vridhaya vapi yoshita or even when she is old so what happened what they are saying that na svatantrena kartavyam she should not do anything independently kinchit karyam griheshvapi even in house she should not be left independent so this is the injunction given in the shastras that uh, women they are not given much independence because as we heard no easily they can be cheated i mean get carried away so like that so further shri propad is saying that um so it's not only um question of women anyone anyone unless they develop their spiritual consciousness shri propad is saying that everyone are fallen condition so ev- no, ev- some are condition in male body some are condition in female body some are condition in tree body or dog's body or hog's body e- everyone are condition but when we accept a material body but according to the body we have to act it like, let's say a soul when he is in dog's body he has to shout like dog when a soul when he is in pig body he has to eat stool when soul when he is in human body he has to do certain duties same thing when a soul when he is in a male body he has different duties and when a soul it's in a female body and she has her own duties so when the human society or shastras they recommend that whatever swadharma it's been given that should be followed when we follow our swadharma then when the women follow their swadharma then there will not be any disturbance in the society but when we try to imitate others like when the women want to be like men and you know, want to be in the leader and mean uh, some in very in some of the statements like a uh, um they say that there sh- one should not live where the woman is ruling so even so many injections are given in shastras that so women they have their own duties so they cannot imitate men or they if even if they want to be like men how much they can propad used to say when she, when he saw a police woman and uh, propad saw that you no know, let's say if i you know twist her hand what she can do how she can protect herself so though you know they may be you know in a um, police dress or you know they may act like you know being police or very strict but uh, still they cannot protect themselves but <laughs> that time but when i you know one, once what happened i went to a police station and uh, i wanted to distribute book but she was uh, pol- police was lady woman means lady so what happened that time exactly she was shouting on someone and we just myself and one more devotee we wanted to go inside and preach but really when we saw we really wanted didn't wanted to go inside and it was too heavy you know and we just thought really doesn't fit to the character doesn't fit to the body and really she was like tall and fat and and he, she could beat anyone and i mean though she is like that but doesn't fit to the character it looks ugly you know why you know woman she should be you know as a police and shouting on men trying to beat so this is not her the nature you know now we feel you know as a common person when we see that you know it's doesn't appeal to the mind so even you know, when woman we see you know in the home you know being shy you now doing her the duties then it more pleasing to the society so this is how the situation is so here uh, shri prabhupa says so everyone are condition so they are fallen fallen also what to speak of women so they are also fallen uh, but who are less intelligent than men again here shri prabhupa is saying that you can see uh, what to speak of women who are less intelligent than men yes here shastra says that women are less intelligent than men but in a spiritual sense should not be uh, misunderstood but generally throughout the vedas if we see women's body it's not much appreciated for spiritual knowledge spiritual process they are meant for, say for example a male if he wants to take sanyas if he wants to renounce there's option he can do it he is he has a free will and nothing is going to happen to him but women there is no injunction given her some exceptionals are there but it's not a rule that they should take sanyas they know where it's mentioned so uh, but it's mentioned that they should be married 
they should be either in protection of father under the protection of husband or under the protection of uh, eldest son uh, so th pr they should be always under protection so it's not mentioned that they should take a sanyas or it should be you know they should renounce renunciation is there attachment should uh, should reduce from the material life but it doesn't mean that they should you know take sanyas or take saffron cloth they go it's not mentioned in the shastras so that's why in a spiritual sense they are considered less intelligent and that's what uh, vyasadeva also says when i wrote Mah when he writes ri writes mahabharat it especially meant for stri shudra and dwijabandhus mahabharat condenses a story at the same time gives the philosophy character good conduct so where people can easily understand if we read vedanta sutra even now we or shudras kalau shudra sambhava so when we read vedanta sutra how much we can understand without the help of acharyas so even when we read bhagavad gita so many places we are getting you know really confused and without the help of uh, the commentaries we cannot understand we can we don't have that good brain we are not that intelligent to understand the vedic shastras so so that's why vyasadev he wrote mahabharat for the welfare of a uh, whole society even we condi conditioned soul who are fallen so we can also know mahabharat understand know what is rama and mahabharat know, know the culture so that's why it's given so that's why women shudras and dwijabandhus they are not considered intelligent so in generally also in history in history we see um when i read this i also remembered what happened in tukaram's life we can see lord called him okay you come i'll take you vaikuntha on this ekadashi day and whomever is associating with you and who whomever wants to join you i'll take them also to vaikuntha so then the day came so he went to his wife say you assisted me in uh, every way no allowing me to do devotional service you didn't disturb me you didn't bother me you took care of our children protecting everything so now now the result of my devotion has come lord is calling me to vaikuntha no you please join so you will also enjoy the result you know we'll stay in vaikuntha together i mean he is calling so then uh, wife said no you go vaikuntha no problem Uh, i have to take care of the children i have my duties here no you you will roam as you know uh, uh, no as you like you will roam everywhere you will take your tambura and then you will be singing but i cannot be like that so i have my children i have my duty here so i cannot leave so then tukaram thought okay now you know what to do so i have to leave so he left so but what she said it's also not wrong that's her duty she should take care of children but at the same time when it comes to the spiritual sense that getting moksha or giving up the attachment it's really difficult for women she could have accepted okay now what is the use of taking care you know being in this material world so just go with husband attain moksha but she didn't and he attained moksha alone i mean after leaving the body definitely she will get the sukriti to have such an husband but this is an instance the where she has the duty but when in spiritual sense they are not that much developed so many instances we see that um, they really uh, delay or they really lack in the spiritual sense so that is mentioned in the shastras but uh, one may question now if you see in modern times you know in schools you know girls or uh, women they are getting first rank i know they are studying well and then you know boys you know they are just you know, doing something or they are also studying but not like girls but uh, yeah of course they are also intelligent but nowadays boys you know really you know they are fully dull headed you know what they don't know what they do what they read what they study they just go to carry the bag to the school not everyone but most of them are like this they don't responsibility is less because of not uh, not trained properly not trained as a brahmanas no good teacher so that's why so then um, here that's what shri prabhupad father says that women having been compared to shudras and vaishyas striya vaishyas tata shudra shudra so krishna saying striya vaishya tata shudra 
So even they can perform the devotional service. We saw how women, though they are less intelligent, and uh, Shudras, Dvijabandhus, uh, they cannot understand the Vedic literature, but still Krishna is saying, encouraging them, that uh, still you can also take part in the devotional service. Um, it's not a disqualification to be a woman, it's not a dis disqualification to be a Shudra or a Dvijabandhu. No one is prohibited in the line of devotional service. Everyone can take part. But we should you know, understand, though we are in devotional service, everyone, they should know what is their level, what is their uh, understanding. So, but Sri Prabhupada further says, that's what, on the spiritual platform, however, when one is elevated to the platform of Krishna consciousness, whether one is a man, woman, shudra, or whatever, is, everyone is equal. So, Sri Prabhupada says, so whether you be a shudra, or a lady, uh, woman, or a dvijabandhu, or chandala, whomever we may be. But when we take part in devotional service, everyone, we come in one equal platform, which is platform of soul. Now, we see each other devotee as, you know, he is part and parcel of Krishna, and this soul is embodied in this body, uh, Shudra body, or, I mean, we don't see like that, you no, know, he is a Shudra Vaishnava, or he is a Brahmana Vaishnava, or he is, um, she is woman, or he is man. So, we don't see like that. We see everyone as a soul, and everyone can serve the Lord. But at the same time, we should not misunderstand that. So, if everyone are equal, so everyone can do all, whatever means, whatever is common, every can, everyone can be done. So, everything can be done. Let's say, a Prabhu, he is taking uh, sanya, he can initiate. It's not that, uh, okay, we are all, all, everyone are equal, so yeah, Matajis can also initiate. But that's not the point. We see equal uh, in the platform of soul, not in platform of uh, our duties. Duties, they differ. Even though we are in devotional service, everyone has their own swadharma. You should do your duty because that's what Krishna says when we give up swadharma ma pichaveksha navi kampitu marhasi dharmyadi uddaksha yunya kshatriya sena vidyate. For kshatriya, swadharma is to fight. For woman, swadharma is to be in home and you know, take care of the children. And for brahmana, swadharma is to, you know, Patan, Patan, Yajan, Yajan, Dana, Pratigraha. And everyone, everyone in equal platform as a soul. But when it comes to own duties, everyone has to perform their own duties. At the same time, Manmanabha, uh, Madbhakto, Madhyaji, Mam, Namaskuru. You know, all, always worship Krishna. Uh, always think of Him. Render our devotional service to Him. Krishna will accept any offering, either it's from uh, male or female or sannyasi or any, that's not a disqualification that, you know, to be a woman or, you know, shudra. You know, everyone are welcome. So, we heard all this so many times. So, that's the point. And uh, Srila Prabhupada says, who is saying this? You no, know, you know, many people, they condemn, you know. You people are so heavy on women, you know, shastras are very heavy. But even women, like Urvashi, she is a very cultured lady. She is saying, don't believe. The women, they are like fox. <laughs> fox means, you know, they plunder. That's what uh, in Bhagavatam, in fifth canto, in, uh, in the section of Jadabharat, uh, Jadabharat, they explain to Rahugana that uh, when a man enters into forest, the wives, children, they are all considered like uh, fox and jackals, uh, tigers. So, when they come, you know, they come, they plunder whatever they need. And they don't consider, you know, oh, how, how he'll be, you know, able to manage. That's what, you know, to manage one wife, it's, I mean, it's difficult. And if they have, you know, children and, you know, one, two more wives, three more wives, then it's, you know, really man goes crazy. So, so that's what uh, Shastra says that they're like, uh, why it's said like that, that they're like fox, it's, it's that, it's not for devotees, I mean, should be understood. It's for outside karmi ladies. They say, you know, whenever husband comes home, they know they want, they demand so many things. You know, you know, I want this, I want this, I want that. But what to the husband? He is helpless. Prabhupada's famous uh, example. Prabhupada often said, when a man goes outside, let's say he is traveling in bus. Let's say someone he did a pickpocket. You know, some he took just not even okay. Let's say he did, take, took ten rupees. And immediately he becomes angry. Oh, why did you take? And he shouts on him, beats him, and not really, he becomes disturbed. 
And the same man, when he comes home, what happens? And he removes his shirt and you know, keeps in the hanker. Then uh, woman come, um, the female comes, and then whatever she wants, she takes. And he, he, he cannot complain anything, he just laughs, that's all. That's his position. No, really, no, though he may be like lion outside, inside he is like rat, mouse. So that's why Shastras condemn that these kind of families, so these kind of women, they are considered like, you know, they compare to like fox. No, they re really, they plunder. How much ever they want pleasure, they take. Prabhupada in one place, he explaining that when woman, when person is getting married, at, you know, at young age, it will be very nice to be with a female, you know, to be with a wife, you know. Mukundata Pruvans, he said, uh, when a couple, when they are getting married, first to three months, they, they will not touch the ground, you know, they'll be fl <laughs> they will be flying in the sky, you know, go this tour, that prasadam, this, no, I mean, devotional I am speaking, I, I mean, karmis, they have their own ways. So, but when the time grow, uh, time goes, you know, again, I remember Suhotra Maharaj, no, so Subhag Maharaj, when he came and he said that at beginning she looks like, you know, uh, Chandramukhi, you know, moon-faced. Then the day goes further, further, and then it becomes like Surya Mukhi, little bit hot. Then, you know, when further, you know, it becomes like Jwala Mukhi, you know, throwing out the fire. So, it happens. You know, those women, they are like that. So, to that woman, every man should be careful. So, for example, um, there was a, when, actually, same Pururava, I remembered. Same Pururava, when he, when he understood, oh, why I am this, why, why I am behind this Urvashi, why cannot, why I cannot give up. So, then uh, there is a whole section of Aila Gita, where he is really repenting, oh, I, sh I have wasted my life. So, there he is saying that, no, Krida, uh, Krida Mrigas Chakravarti Naradeva Shikamani. Among all the men, I was like, you know, king, Naradeva. But though I am like, you know, so powerful, what, I, what happened? Krida Mrigas, um, Krida Mrigas Chakravarti. So I became like puppet in the hands of a uh, woman. So that's what, even such a big king, very cultured, learned, so he became, became like that. So that's why it's uh, said, we should be very careful. We should be really careful. What happens? Shastra says that women, as I mentioned, they are compared to fire. So, but men, at the same time, they are compared to butter. So, when it comes together, obviously, naturally, the men, men's heart, it will melt because of the fire. So, when heart is melt, so immediately, you know, there is a very good you know, chance for the woman to plunder everything. When you, if you have given up the heart, so whatever you do, whatever uh, you think, everything will, abo will be about the person who, whom you gave your heart. So that's why, uh, again, Shastra says, we should be very careful about uh, this thing. But uh, here, one, when, uh, when we see that woman, when they're like fox, want to plunder from the men, that's, uh, in reality, that's also true. What happened was... Uh, Actually, recently in Maharaj, uh, in lecture, he mentioned that, you know, there, there was a lecture uh, called uh, Have Big Muscles Like Me. In that lecture, Maharaj is mentioning more than uh, muscles, women are, they, women, they are attracted to money of men. You know, how much he has bank balance, or, or th that's what. And that's what happened recently, in few, like few years back. There was a 22 years old girl what happened? She was married to 80 year old man. But he was really wealthy person. He was really wealthy and he had so much wealth. So then uh, if we consider, and it came in newspaper, it was, you know, so famous. Oh, she, she was married to such and such an old man, I mean, 80 years old. So if we consider that, how much he can give pleasure to that young girl by bodily strength, he cannot. You know, when the body grows old, really, you know, it, the, all the wrinkle comes, you know, white hair comes, and then body itself, it starts smelling. You know, if we go to the old man's home and all, really, some kind of smell is there, because body is getting, trying, um, getting decomposed, slowly, slowly, slowly. But when the slow, slow leaves, it's fully decomposed. So, so it's slowly getting smell. And, you uh, know, 80 years old, you know, really, you cannot do much. 
but still the girl she agreed to marry just not for the body or or you know he'll be you know he's such a big person just to you know he'll be living for some time some for some year i'll have to serve him but after that whole property whole wealth it belongs to me so i can have that so this this is the intention so apparently looks you know um, you know they are you know very nice you know beautiful that's what you know they can really uh, what take away everything from a man so that's why we should we should be very careful now i just remember uh, today is akshay trithi you know everyone they go purchase the gold from uh, shop and then today is again we can be we can say it's a warning for all the men you know very be very careful while go, going to jewelry shop so it can be plundered so the side point so that's what um, we should be very careful but if men they control their senses they will not be victim by such uh, fox like woman so when we are controlled when we are in a krishna consciousness way so then we will not be attracted by this um, glaring um, effulgence of maya which is woman in the form of woman which is very uh, very difficult to overcome so that's what to bring we should bring our senses under the control through devotional service then we can uh, we can elevate ourselves from this uh, liberate our get liberated from this material otherwise you know whatever we try it's going to be really difficult so unless you know we really understand that everything is temporary you know whatever beauty we see in this material world is all temporary it's going to be de- uh, destroyed so unless we understand that unless we hear from shastras unless we are in devotion uh, in devotees association it's very difficult to understand whatever we hear also unless we have we are in devotees association it's uh, difficult to overcome so that's what and uh, shapopa is further saying but if one can control his control the senses there is no chance of uh, becoming victimized by fox like woman again chanakya pandit says if uh, if one has wife like uh, that's what he is quoting a shloka that um, if matra mata yasya grihe nasti bharya cha priyavadini so if uh, when who which house a ma- mother is not living or wife she is not obedient to the husband and that house it's compared to like a forest i mean it is said that that person who is living in such house immediately leave to forest why because there is no difference between forest and that home because both are same you know really you are you're, wherever you are you are going to suffer so but when we develop the krishna consciousness you know become a perfect grahastha you know in one place shri prabhupada is saying in his lecture grahastha means 24 hours every moment thinking of krishna this is called grahastha life so when we develop such a consciousness you know then you know home becomes welcome if shri prabhupada says you know home his sweet home otherwise you know really it's a mess when we go out book distribution a person even though he is so much interested for taking bhagavad gita and from you know from inside if one sound comes and whatever we spoke for half an hour you know everything is you know is useless you no know, so much we will be speaking of uh, you know take bhagavatam you know it's just 7500 rupees you know you are spending so much money for phone mobile phone whatever and you know, it'll be okay no problem you know you can pay in installment everything will be but from inside you know just one voice and everything is gone or else and he will say you know i'll just ask her and what and i'll just tell and you know we, devotees we know when he goes inside and we know what will be the answer <laughs> and you no know, definitely so she said no so that's how the home is nowadays and you know how they call how they behave it's all you know changed so those kind of house they are uh, com- mentioned here as hitvatma patam grahamanda kupam they are compared as a dark well and men cannot really come out of it you know we need really good association so how to control the senses how to come out of it so there is a very nice process given to us by our uh, acharyas by our um, pra- parampara so we hear from a song of bhakti vinod thakur saying that sharira vidya jal jadendriya tahe kal so it's a very nice song he says 
one should control the sense you know this body is made of senses so if one wants to control the senses or if you wants to come out of the material nonsense then he should first of all control the tongue why when we control the tongue automatically we control the belly and genitals so automatically everything comes under control how to control the tongue then uh, he is saying we should take krishna prasad if we don't control the tongue what happens again you know what is that take jata katina samsare so we fall into uh, this portion of material world so that's why we should uh, we have very good process chanting the holy name for controlling the tongue and taking krishna prasadam and uh, our devotee association coming for mangalarti hearing bhagavatam when we do all this though whether we may grihe tako vane tako sada hari bole tako so when we are in devotional path whether we are uh, performing devotion as a brahmachari or grahastha then doesn't make much difference because any wherever you are you should be krishna conscious but when you are grahastha you have more responsibility that you have to take care of your children and not take care of take care of their devotion your wife's devotion your children's devotion when we take care of the grahastha has that responsibility but uh, again it's not so easy we have to really we have to pray to the lord to um, f- to come out of we need his mercy that's what uh, acharya say that in chaitanya charitamrita also it is quoted kama dinam katina katida palita durni desha stesham jata maina karuna natra pano pashanti uchru jaitan atayadupate sampratam labdha buddhi stoma yata sharanam abhayam mam ningshvatma dasi he is saying lord i had so many unwanted desires you know you know all these senses my senses my mind you know they were never merciful to me whatever mind wanted i provided whatever senses wanted to enjoy i gave them the gave them the facility you know i tried to please them so much but at last those cheaters were not pleased at all never pleased so what happened labdha buddhi now i got the intelligence by association so what what's the intelligence you know i have wasted so much of my time serving the senses my uh, senses mind so trying to give giving up so i have i want to take shelter of your lotus feet so when we take shelter of uh, this lotus feet lotus feet of the lord then easily we can give that sort of proper here also at the end of the purport is saying so one should go to the forest take shelter of the lotus feet of hari baja hure mana shri nanda nandan abhaya charanara vindare so when we take shelter of uh, lord's lotus feet then easily we can come out of this material world but unless we do unless we do this whatever you know we may be whatever position we may be in again i remember uh, pururava he is again in one more verse he is explaining that kim vidyaya kim tapasa kim tyagena shrutena va kim viviktena maunena shriyam yasya mano hridam he is saying what is the use of king vidyaya what is the use of being a learned man or uh, kim tapasa or what is the use of performing so many big big austerities or kim tyagena what is the use of giving so many charities or shrutena of what is the use of hearing so many vedic literatures uh, kim viviktena maunena or what is the use of going staying alone or being or performing mauna vrata if all if even by doing all these things if our mind if it is not you know detached from the material objects then not no use of this shriyam yasya manohridam one whose mind if it is not detached from the material thing not not only women any material thing if it is not detached from that whatever we learn it's not uh, doesn't have any use but whatever we learn we apply it in lord service we slowly get detached so then we can get delivered from this material world that's what our whole devotional path is what vairagya vidya nija bhakti yoga so vairagya detachment should be applied with knowledge and then that is called uh, devotional service so everyone are welcome as um, verse says prabhupada also explains so according to dharma everyone can please the lord everyone can attain the lotus feet of the lord so that's what uh, we see here from this verse and further very nice instructions are given by urvashi so we'll be seeing all those in further classes hari krishna i'll stop here any question come and
Yes, bro. Thank you very much for your, yeah. for your nice class. Mm. This, uh, regarding this Chanakya Pant Sloka, uh, Vishwaswane, Vishwaswane Vakarta Bimris, uh, Strishu Raja Kulesucha. So this Vishwas, we should not believe in uh, women, means exactly to whom Chanakya Pant is trying to say, is to all women, uh, planetary, higher planetary system, uh, definitely to the, those degraded women. Are, because, uh, of course, we can see the society cannot run without uh, believing in a woman and husband is uh, believing in a wife and that's why our family is running. And like this, uh, this is going on, but and this, so this Chanakya Pandit is quoting this. Yeah, Chanakya Pandit's quote, uh, question is uh, this uh, quote of Vishwashunaiva Kartavim Sri Shula Raja Kulishucha is referring to whom, you know, whole planetary system or um, that's what the question is. Uh, but we see in you know, day to day life also. What, what then? What was your question, bro? Exactly to whom he is trying yeah, okay, to say. That's exactly to whom it is referred. So, Shri Prabhupada, you know, clearly says in purport, we don't put all devotee matajis in a um, you know, category of karmi. They are, you know, as we, so we in a spiritual platform, we see everyone as a soul. But that's what doing, uh, doing their swadharma that is there. But uh, specifically, it's uh, mentioned for karmi people, you know. Because Mataj is, you know, you know, they don't, when they're devotees, they don't really so much demand to their husbands. They don't want to exploit them. They don't want to, you know, really extract you know, from them. If when we see from uh, uh, life of uh, Sudam, Sudama Vipra's wife, you know, how she was, you know, she was a devotee. And, you know, she, she didn't have, literally she didn't have anything. You know, she didn't have anything, but she was a devotee. She used to beg, you know, just to please her husband, you know, just to feed him something. But she didn't really expect, you know, she told, okay, you go ask your friend Krishna to give us something. That Even that, it's not for her. She said, you know, my husband is so, suffering so much. So, you know, at least if he has something, so I can serve him more in a better way. So, such husband should be a devotee. That's most important. When a husband is a devotee, automatically the wife will be faithful. So, such a um, woman, they're really glorious. And we see how Sita Devi and uh, so many instances, are there, you know, there are so many glorious ladies, but they were all devotees, Draupadi, so many. But uh, outside, you know, when they, we speak about karmis, this all comes under. Naturally, Yashasti Bhaktir Bhagavatya Kinchana, whether he, you, may be, you be a man or woman, if you are a devotee, naturally you will develop all the good qualities. And that's what we are training, you know, getting trained. Boys are trained in Gurukul, girls are trained in, trained in their uh, character. You know, that's all it's going on. So we should not misunderstand. It's for, you know, karmi. You no, know, if we, you know, we should not offend, you know, Mataji. They should not be get offended over there mentioning us. For, yeah, if we behave like karmi woman, then we are in that level. But if we behave like devotee, then uh, we are glorious. Anything bro you want? Hare Krishna. Any other questions? Hare Krishna. Grantra Shrimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Shaprabhupada ki jai.